Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispar? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. Unthinkable. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you suck in the council, I'll bring you a new arsehole. While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Yes, Mentor. I have a mission for you.
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? Let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? Just that some folk don't like to be right in. They were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? When fanaticism, or the monstrous union between ignorance and despotism, invented in its turn the crime of sacrilege, when it conceived get these politicians. How much longer must we wait? Another business to tend to. Just a little bit longer. What the hell? The Grand Master wants the politicals thinned out before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our recent activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn us all at the stake. So, you haven't heard yet, then? Heard what? Well, Lafreniere is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Assassins. That seems convenient. Well, that's the thing about assassins. You point them at a Templar conspiracy, and they ask no questions. Or well, right for the killing. Predictable that way. <laughs> <laughs> Come, we'll fetch the captain and get started. The most terrible of all punishments for social man is approval. It's the overwhelming side of public education. Oh! What was that? Why are we here? Going to death penalty. Oh, Patriots! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
How late do you think they'll go tonight? Lord knows. Get these politicians. No need to make this any harder, eh? Well, I guess I'd better put some coffee on then. Tell me what I want to know. Are you finished? Near enough. Now, here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left in you. Two at the most. Half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. Was that? <laughs> You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. <laughs> you heard the weasel boys? Damn you! Die! Ha! Stay away if you want to live! Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes on round because of one dead peon. Right. 
King Louis has been talking to all sorts, he should have been against the revolution out of one side of the mountain, while the strong is the constitution out of the other. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of our to you good. Very well. Stop him! He's arriving! Spy! There's a spy on the loose! No spies escaping on my watch! the exit. The spy will be making a run for it. There's someone there. Stop him! He's a royal spy! Watch for a faint. I don't spike every last one of your kind of... Don't let the spy go. Bye, boys.